Hello Facebook, or should I say I think hello Facebook, might not even be live, oh no, the little button's on, the little button is on, and it's saying I'm live, that's a good start, let me know when you're here, let me know when you're here, um, by like doing a wee typey typey type thing in the bottom box, because then that'll let me know, we've got two people watching, so hello little two people, no idea who you are, good to see you, whoever you are, if you're hidden in the background, then even better. Hello, Wenda. Hello, Wenda. A little two bumped itself up to 18. Hello. Come on in, everybody. Say hello. Mary Beth. Hello. Um, Rosen Miller. Hiya. Kelly saying hi, John. Leah. Hello, Leah. Good to see you, Leah. Good to see you. Got to see you. To see you nice. My lovely Caroline Wallace is here. How are you, me darling? I am good. Ryan Stewart, good to have you. Sharon, hello. Paula, 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 my lovely Lillian. Um, hi, John, how's thee? Thee is fab. Thee's fab after having a child meltdown earlier on. Probably seen it on the page. Posted a wee picture of Ethan having a wee fit as he went to pick up his brother. Yeah. He was not having any of it. Not any of it. But never mind, I'm all good. How are you? Um, who else have we got coming in? Who else have we got coming in? Um, Mary is saying, hi, John. Jen's a cosy. Hi, John. Sharon. Hi, John. Louise. Hiya. Um, Kathy. Good to see you, Kathy. Good to see ya. Good to see ya, to see ya. Hello. There we go. That was me having a wee sing-song for you, all. It's uh, <laughs> about as far as the sing song's going to go, and that's it. Um, Jean McGill is saying hi, John and friends. I'm on my own. Well, I suppose I've got a cat here. I think what she means is all oh, you lovely people watching. Pauline Wallace, hello. Mr. Ashfley, Mr. Ashfley, how are thee, Mr. Ash? I want to know. I want to know. It's funny because, see, when a psychic asks somebody, how are you? Normally the reply you get is, should you know or no? Drives me crazy, that. It drives me crazy. Um, but there we go. Some people are just a bit funny like that. Um, Samantha is saying, hello, first time watching. Good to have you, good to have you. Um, stick around, stick around, Samantha. We're going to be doing some free mini readings very, very shortly. Very, very shortly. Um, if you could hear a wee, like, yelping in the background, it's the dog. Don't know what's up with the damn thing. Um, well, I do. Erin and the boys are out the front and the dog wants out the front, but the dog's not getting out the front because if Coco gets out the front, Coco will just take off. She'll be like flying somewhere. So she's like, I'm mute. Um, so if you hear that strange noise, it's just a dog. You know, she's just been a pest. Um, what, what are you doing today, John? I just seen that comment going up the screen. I've got no idea who it was from because I never paid attention. Naughty John, but hey ho, it's there. Um, what am I doing today? Well, I've been doing some private sittings. Um, I'm now sitting on my backside chatting to all yous. Yeah, I really probably do have something I should be doing, but I can't be bothered doing it, so never mind. But later on tonight, I have got a show. I'm doing a charity night later on in Arbroath. So all you people that's in Arbroath or near Arbroath, you might be in Carnoustie, Dundee, Aberdeen, Aberdeen's no far, Montrose, wherever. You might even be further afield and think, my God, I just need to go and see John. Um, you need to come along and see me tonight. Tickets are available at the door um, and it's in the Cliffburn Hotel in Arbroath. Doors open at seven o'clock. We start at half past seven. And it's only £10, and it's for charity. It's for a mental health charity, all right? Um, so make sure you come along. Come along and see me tonight. And bring all your loved ones with you from the spirit world, and we'll have some great fun. Um, Ash Flay is filling his face with chocolate biscuits. Well, Ash, that's just no very pretty, all right? You can't be having chocolate biscuits and no giving John a chocolate biscuit. That's rude. Rude. 
I love chocolate. I don't even have any next to me. All I've got is a label that says dog rocks on it. Dog rocks, folks. Thought I would try this, you know, for when your dogs are in the garden and you end up with those little daft brown stains everywhere. Seemingly, dog rocks stops that. All it freaking is is a, a stone. This is just a stone. I could have picked one out for the garden. I paid nine ninety nine for this. Um, but yeah, it's just a stone you put in their water bowl and seemingly it stops burn marks. I don't know. And I've got to place my little sticker on my calendar, but I can't even... I'll still not, I'll not even look at the calendar to remember to change them in two months' time. Um, so if anybody remembers two months today, folks, my dog rocks need changed, let me know. All right. <laughs> there we go. That's that dealt with. Let's see who else have we got coming in. Paul Tilbury, good to see you. Steve and Lingy Lang Lang. I think Steve and Lingy Lang Lang might come to see me today in Arbroath. You came to see me the last time I was in Arbroath. I'm in the same place. Start time is half past seven. I think you should come along. Um, do do do. Ash Flay, come visit again. Kyle will cook a full breakfast. I'm only coming if I get haggis. I'm only coming if I get haggis. Um, well, we're for anybody that doesn't know, um, yes, I will be doing readings in a minute. For anybody that doesn't know, I was live with um, Lily and Ash last night in our supporters area. Um, and we were talking about haggis. So there we go. Also, we were we were discussing um, technology. To be honest, about um, what was it again? The signals, signals. Lily Ann seems to think we didn't get um, we didn't get in Wi-Fi in Scotland for some reason. She thinks I live on a moon. Uh, <laughs> you gotta love her, haven't you? You gotta love her. Um, but yeah, we definitely do. We definitely have Wi-Fi here in Scotland. Believe it or not, um, it, it's. it's it's all right. It's all right. It says me sitting on a on no Wi-Fi at the moment because I couldn't be bothered pushing the button on my phone. Then I had to put earphones in my ears, folks. And I'm telling you, Aaron handed as a set of earphones and they were Bluetooth. You couldn't even plug them into your phone. I had to try and figure out how to connect a Bluetooth set of earphones to my phone. I gave up and I did actually find a set of earphones. Good old i iPhones. And what's all this about? All the earphones I picked up had normal jacks, but no, iPhone's got a wee weird thing. Pain in the butts. Apple, just keep it normal. If it's no broken, then he fix it. Just leave it as it is. Anyway, that's my wee moan about. That's my wee moan about. Wifey, wifey, we all love a bit of wifey. So, what have you been up to? Let me know um, before we start on the readings, folks. We're going to be opening up that spirit door very, very soon. Bringing through your loved ones, um, answering your questions, just tackling a wee bit of everything. Yeah, I think we're just going to... Don't you ask me what I'm doing, folks. I've made my own fidget spinner or whatever you... What do you call them? Fidgy spins. It's just a pen on a wee... on a stick. It's my own wee figget sticker. I don't know what you call them. Um, no idea. Um, Wiffy, you mean? Yes, Wiffy. That's right. Lily couldn't even say Wi-Fi. It came out with Wiffy. Um, so there we go. Um, what else have we got going on? Um, Tess is saying, I'm new. Welcome, my newbie. Caroline, saw you last night, John. Ha, ha, ha. Love your Lily. Um... Anika Turney, I got Bluetooth easy. Good for I thought it was something for your teeth. All right, I'm sitting looking for blue teeth. No idea. Still didn't get it. And there we go. How you can just plug your earphones into an earphone jack? Simples. No. We can't have it easy. It's too much. A fidget spinner. A fidget spinner. Well, I've made my own. Might bring it with me tonight when I do my evening of mediumship. It's quite, it's quite therapeutic, this. Load of crap. Uh, <laughs> throw that over there. Um, Caroline, I had news of my daughter's engagement. Well, happy engagement to Caroline Wallace's daughter. Kathy is enjoying... Oh, where's that gone? Enjoying the... Oh, it's disappeared again. Where is it? Enjoying the weather, getting lots of sun here. We've got sun as well, and we haven't meant to. It's meant to be raining. But we have got sunshine. It's not as warm as it was the other day, but it's all right. It's all right. Um, a fidget spinner. That's what it's called, is it? It's called a fidget spinner. I've made my own. I might hate a sort of, like, what do you do? Paint in them or something so that nobody else steals this idea. I might copyright it. 
if anybody wants to buy a fidget spinner from me you could like take it so you could put that in your pocket and your pen in case you need it you can just clip it on your side and when you're feeling a bit fidget or frigate whatever you can just give it a wee spin i shouldn't be a psychic folks i should be a creator all right uh, <laughs> talk so much shite sometimes i really do um, what else have we got? What else have we got going on? Kathy, how are you? I'm very good. I'm very, very good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, Shar is saying one more week until we move. Good luck. Good luck. We just moved a, a few weeks ago. It's no nice. It's no nice. It's really no. Moving is just... It's just a headache that you can do with you, is it? It's a headache you can do without. Um... But there you are, you know, my nice white walls have got nice fingerprints on them now. But, hey, kids, we'll love them. We'll love them. Well, we were loving them earlier. I could assure you that little Ethan lying on the ground stamping his... Base first on the ground, stamping his fists and his feet. Um, somebody did comment and say, you should have just laid down next to him. I have done that before in a supermarket. He was... I think it was with Ruri, and he was just screaming, so I just thought, well, bugger this. If it's good enough for you, I'm going to start screaming as well. So I did it. I started screaming in the shop. Got funny looks, mind you. Funny looks, but never mind. Hey-ho. Right. Um, do -do 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 -do. Shar is saying, are you settled in your new home? I certainly am. I certainly am. Settling in quite nicely. We've only bro we broke the oven within the first sort of week. Um, but apart from that, we did all right. Thank God it was still under insurance. So we were able to get it fixed. So there we go. There we go. Right, let's do some readings, folks. What time are we at? Oh, John. John doesn't have pick his times to go live. What a horrid time to go live. Um, because everybody will be out doing things, which means later on, everybody's going to be moaning because they missed the live. Sorry in advance for all those watching it back, but tough. All right, uh, <laughs> sympathy running through my blood. <laughs> um, let's do some readings, folks. Let's do some readings. All right, so we're going to open up that spirit door. We're going to see who comes through. We'll pass on as many wee messages as we can to you all. Um, how do you get a reading? Well, you all should know. Look at the size of these, these things. Look at the size of these scissors. They're not even scissors, they're like big tongs. It's for when somebody comes for a reading and I think, get it! <laughs> I'm only joking, it's not really, I've never had to throw anybody out for a reading. Um, yet, yet, never, never say never. What are the size of these? I mean, what are they even for? They're just sitting here next to the spider's tank. Like I'm going to put a wee lotus kiss on there to try and feed the spider. Like it's bigger than my heat. It's, big, it's bigger than me arm. Oh, my God. Anywho, anywho. Yes, if you've got any questions, please feel free to ask them as well. Um, yeah, and let's just go for it. How do you get your reading? Sorry, I was telling you. You know how to do it, folks. You know. There's three wee things you need to do. You've got to tell all your wee pals and friends by using the S-H-A-R-E button. Um, interacting, so all your wee things floating up the screen there. Okay, keep all them coming. The more you're doing that, the more you're cool. Um, and you can put anything you want. You know, you can put laughters, hearts, ticks, and smiley faces, teary faces. You can even do an angry face if you like, because it just, to me, it doesn't look like an angry face. It just looks like you're constipated and need a poo. Um, but you can do them as well if you like. And, of course, commenting. All right. Um... But yeah, you need to let everybody know we're here. So make sure that you're doing that that nice wee S-H-A-E-R. Probably, I've just spelt that completely wrong, but it's because I'm putting my spirit head on, all right? Let's just say the word. Use the share button, okay? Um, right, let's have a wee look and see where we are going. If I'm drawn into your name and my guide has something to say to you or somebody comes forward from the spirit world, I will just come to you. All right. Pure and simples. Snimples. 
Snimples. Um, hey John, looking forward to seeing you tonight in our broth. See you tonight in our broth. Um, I hope loads more of you come along to see me tonight because I'll be really disappointed if none of you do. And that'll be a real shame for the charity. Alright, so make sure you come along. Um, Linfield, Linfield, I've just been drawn straight out. Where have you just gone? Linfield. Linfield, I've just been drawn straight into your name there. Um, and all you've put is anything for me, John. <laughs> all right. But I was drawn into you there, so I'm going to see who. Oh, thank you. I've got a lady stepping forward here, Lynn. Okay, I do feel I've got a mum vibration coming forward to me. She's making me aware of heart problems. And I feel this is something she would have had for quite some time. Okay, so it's not something that she just got at the end of her life problems with. I feel she had a heart condition for many a years. Okay, she's about five foot five as she comes in here. She's quite a pretty lady. She's got really long hair. Really, really long here at your mum is she's stepping into me okay the month of september would mean something to her so september would be important it's either her birthday or her passing um but september would mean something to her as she's coming in here a real um a real jolly lady you know i feel even when she's in a bad mood she's in a jolly mood um <sighs> I actually didn't want to say, no, I'm putting, I know I am, I'm putting that across wrong, okay? She's a happy woman, I feel this jolly woman here, but even when she's in a bad mood, it's like she, she puts her foot down, but she's still got a smile on her face as she's sort of putting that foot down, okay? As she's getting that anger coming through her. I'm feeling as she's coming in, she wants to talk a four, so four would connect with her. She either got four kids or there was four in her family, but four would connect with her. Her hair's a sort of dark, her hair's about my colour. I don't even know what colour of hair I've got. It's that colour. Like a brown. I don't know. Brown. All right. Like a brown. Um, but a lovely, lovely, it's got a lovely shine to it. I can see the shine as I'm looking at her here. Okay. I do want to put glasses on your mum's face as well because she's making me aware of glasses. She must have had a pacemaker because as, I, as I'm talking to her as well, I keep feeling like I'm getting a shock here. Okay. And that's always a sign for me that there's a pacemaker in her. So I know that that's there also. She's also got two dogs with her and they are, they're, they're, it's a sausage dog. It's a sausage dog. Two, it looks like a sausage dog to me anyway, but she's got two dogs with her. Dogs are always for strength, so I know you're getting that bit of strength to help push you forward at this minute in time, Lynn. Lynn, I need to give you the name Bet. Betty? Betty? What a popular name, eh? That's a bit crud. But I could hear Betty being shouted in. I never really deal with names, but she is shouting Betty to me, so I'm going to give you it anyway. I didn't feel that's mum's name, but it would connect to mum. It's your mum. That would be your granny's name, sweetheart. Okay, because your mum's just said it's my mum's name. So she's indicating that your granny's here as well, sweetheart, okay? A lot, a lot of love coming in and around you at this minute in time, so please do take that, and I'll say thank you very much. Mwah. Take care for now. Um, right, let's see who we're going to go to next. Um, do -do 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 Colleen, 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 Colleen Jackson. Colin, oh, you've just disappeared. Colin Jackson is saying, hey, John, can you see any new work for me, please? And you've put a wee smiley face. Colleen, Colin, let's have a wee look and see. Do you know, straight away as I'm pulling into the vibration here, I do feel there's new work coming in for you. I feel really arty with you, like designing, like media design or, you know, like online, like making logos and stuff and designing websites. This is what I feel with you, sweetheart, straight away as I'm pulling into your vibration here, okay? Now, I feel where you're needing to pay attention, particularly over the next few days. The next couple of days here, there is something stepping forward for you, okay? I actually feel it's an offer. You must have just been... Hush it. it. Yeah. You've just been for an interview, and I want to say it was like just a couple of days ago, the start of the week, okay? Because I'm very much aware of news coming in for that. Watch Monday, okay? If it's not Monday, it's like Sunday, but Sunday is a bit of a funny hit miss day. But I'm wanting to say Monday to you. I could hear information coming in here, okay? Regarding an opportunity for you to step forward. So watch out round about then. Please do take care and I'll say thank you very much for now. <laughs> hello everybody loads of wee hellos just went scrolling up my screen there colin jackson i am an artist boom 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 there you go you must have went you, you must have did something to do with it going online okay because it's definitely sitting there but 
interview that you've just had. Definitely good news coming in for you. All right. Right, let's have a wee look and see. Ruth Cullen, Ruth Cullen. Um, is my mum... Oh, God, I've got a right itchy nose. Just been drawn into you. Ruth, where have you gone? What was your surname? Ruth, Ruth, Ruth. Ruth Cullen, just found you. Ruth Cullen. Uh, mum, okay, and does she forgive me? Praying hand. Praying hand, Ruth Cullen. Right, Ruth, let's have a... Do you know something, Ruth? Straight away, just as a as I sort of went back there... I felt like a lady vibration coming in, okay? And I feel where it is that sort of, it's like I'm just sitting in my chair and I just leaned back and that was how I passed, okay? I do feel a mother vibration coming in here. Now, straight away, you're asking if she forgives you here? Most definitely, okay? I want to answer your question straight away and say, yes, mum would be forgiving you, okay? I want to say mum's the type of person that you never needed forgiveness from her, okay? It's like when something happened, it was picked up, dealt with, and we moved on. And this is what I feel she's doing here, okay, Ruth? It's like she's saying, come on, it's time to move on. Now, your mum, I feel, would have been a non-stop woman. She was always on the move, always going. And I feel she was quite ill for, I want to say, like two years, okay? Very, very ill for about two years before she actually passed into the spirit world. But this does feel very, very quick to me and out of the blue, okay? Because, as I said, I'm sitting in my chair and it's like I'm leaning back and the next thing I know, I'm in the spirit world here. The month of February has to be significant with your mum, so it's either her birthday, her passing, or something special happened to her, okay? But it's definitely there that February month. I feel your mum wants to come in at this minute in time, sweetheart, and do you know something? She's, she's, it's like she just wants to grab you and shake you at the minute, okay? You're needing a good shake because it's like you're holding yourself back, okay? And I didn't mean by, you know, needing mum's forgiveness, this to me feels like something you need to do, something that you need to do to push forward, okay? It's like you've had that, it's like you've had your confidence just completely kicked out of you, okay? And mum wants to see that coming back here, all right? Mum's got a budgie with her, sweetheart, okay? Because I could see the budgie with her, so mum must have had a budgie. Um, when I get birds coming in, it's always, it's time for you to open your wings, it's time for you to start moving forward. There's also um, two babies in the spirit world, because I'm aware of two babies coming in here as well, so two babies would also need to connect with you, Ruth, Ruth. Mum passed on her chair very sudden. Thanks very much, Ruth. Um... But yeah, two babies, and I know I want to put them into your house where I'm just wanting to lift that vibration up, okay? I'm just wanting to make it feel a bit more settled, a bit more calm, all right? Please do take the love, and I'll say thank you very much. Take care for now. Holy moly moly, I'm going to have a wee drink of juice, folks. Why else do having a wee drink of juice? Do your wee jazzy things, okay? You know, talk amongst yourselves for a second. Hit your ass hair button, ass hair button. Tell your friends, because it is that awkward time. Awkward time of the day when everybody's picking up kids or trying to get their din din sorted. Pain in the butts. Pain in the butts. All right. So you do that whilst I swig out the bottle. Do you know something? I'm just looking at this desk and I've got some weird stuff on it. Some real weird stuff. So, I mean, we've discussed the big, huge scissor tongs. You know, we've got them. And then I've just looked again and I've got a padlock. I mean, why? A padlock. Very, very bizarre. Very, very bizarre. Along with a dog rocks thing, a little thing that obviously some light was on. It's just very bizarre desk. A torch. A torch at a desk. Very bizarre. And Erin's just walked in the door. I mean, that is like the bizarrest thing ever. All oh, right, you might see her in a minute. Oh, did you see her? She's no one in scene because she's got her, she's got her designer jumper on this evening that she really, really loves nobody to see her in. <laughs> hey, darling. A bright pink jumper, a tight and sharp, it's dead. When Paris can't be traced. She's looking gorgeous, folks. Honestly, absolutely gorgeous. If she was a tramp living on the streets. So yeah, some right like, weird, bizarre bits hanging around here. Very bizarre. What are you talking? Just talking absolute what garbage, me darling. Bizarre. Well, I just found them. Yeah, I've showed everybody your big scissors. For 
Pinching noses. Anywho, let's carry on. Let's get back into action. Let's do some more readings. Bye. Um, bye. Erin has gone again. She has left the building. Let's do some more. Let's do some more. Right, what have we got going on? What have we got going on? Um, do, do, do. Pauline Wallace, do you think we will be blessed with a baby? Most definitely, Pauline, most definitely. Straight away, as I read your question there, I've seen the positivity coming in. So there is definitely, definitely something coming forward there for you. Um, pay attention, particularly more so in, you know, nearer the end of the year. I just want to put it out there. That's where I'm going. Um, Ryan Stewart. Oh, Ryan Stewart, you've just disappeared off my screen. Um, any messages at all? At all? At all? Any messages? Sorry, I just love reading some comments sometimes. Any messages at all for me, please, John? Ryan, straight away, just, just as I was reading that, I'm actually aware of a gentleman coming forward here. I do feel I've got your grandfather as I'm connecting in his vibration. A very, a real funny man. I'm feeling funny. I've got funny bones with this man, but a real hard-working man at the same time. You know, I feel when he puts his mind to something, he really, really goes for it. You know, there's no holding back. He is just full on all the way, Ryan. I get the feeling from him. He's about five foot, I would say about five foot seven, five foot eight at the most here, okay? A nice built gentleman. He's not too skinny. He's not too big. He's just a nice built, comfortable gentleman. I am slavering as I'm speaking to him, so I know he's telling me that he's got false teeth. I also feel I've got glasses here and I've got selective hearing because he keeps saying, speak louder to me, son. What? 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 So I know I've got very good selective hearing, but that is a man thing. We all have that. All right. Um, a very, a very strict gentleman, I feel, you know, going back with them, I feel quite strict with them. Um, and the shoulders are pushed right back, the head's held high, so he's a very, very proud man. He's in and around you at the minute, he wants to talk about work with yourself, Ryan, okay? And I'm feeling very much there's a change on the horizon, okay? There's a change coming in for you regarding work here. I'm feeling quite unbalanced with you, okay? It's like you're not too sure. Everything's a wee bit all over the place. And it's like your granddad wants to come in and he just wants to reassure you that things are going the right way. Things are moving. He's got lovely brown eyes as well. I could see his brown eyes and I feel a very quick passing with him also, okay? But he wants to assure you that things are going in the direction you need to, all right? Please do take the love and I'll say thank you very much. Take care for now. Um, do, 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 do. Where are we going now? Do, 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 do. James Wallace, James Wallace, James Wallace. Um, any new love? Let's have a wee look. James, you know, it was quite funny. I got drawn into your name there and you've, you've not put little roses on your message because that would be weird, James. But I saw like loads of roses coming over you and that's how I was drawn into you there. I want to say, I don't want to say there's new love coming into you, okay? I want to say there's love already around you, but you aren't in a relationship yet, okay? It's like you are in that dating phase, okay? Because I could see you talking, I could see you chatting away there. I've got the initial S with this person, all right, James? The initial S. So it's either the start of their first name or their surname, but there's th there's a lot of flirting going on. My God, I could see it here. Here. And it's it's no even like you're trying to hide it. It's very much what you see is what you get. It is flirt, flirt, flirt. Okay. I want to say watch over the next week. Okay. The next seven to ten days, I feel things are going to be moving here. I could see it pushing forward and I could see the two of you connecting beautifully. I want to say this to me feels like a long term relationship. So it's not just a few weeks or a wee quick hink, hink, wink, wink, hunk, hunk, hunk. <laughs> All right, this to me feels like a lot more. All right, please do take that, James, and I will say thank you very much. Take care of James. Her name's Shona. Well, that begins with an S, does it? That begins with an S. S for Shona. Um, thank you for that confirmation, James. Take care. Um, right, let's see, let's see, where are we going, where are we going? Hi John, where did you say you were tonight? I'm in Arbroath tonight, Arbroath at the, at the uh, Cliffburn Hotel. Start time is 7.30, doors open at 7 o'clock, you can get your tickets on the door or you could buy them in advance from my website. 
Um, they're only £10 and it's a charity night, so I don't take anything for it. All thing they make goes to charity. Um, so make sure you come along. Make sure whoever you were who asked. All right, I hope to see you there. Get your tickets on the door or in advance. Um, that would be fab. Um, Lynn Pellerin, I'm anxious about my finances. Lynn, straight away as I'm pulling into your vibration there. Do you know something? I picked up my pi I picked up the pinchers. Okay, so you're feeling the pinch hen. Um, straight away as I'm connecting into you, I kind of feel I'm wanting to say you're overthinking it. Okay, we're overthinking everything because it's like something small's coming into your head, and all of a sudden you've built this big, massive house. Okay, this big massive pile of problems and everything else, you've just built it up there, all right? I kind of feel where everything's going to be all right. I don't feel things are getting any worse than they are. I don't feel they're going to get any better just yet. They are further down the line, but at this moment, they don't get any further, but they uh, better, but they are not getting any worse at the moment, okay? So what you're needing is perfect. It's there just don't be going a little crazy at the moment. I want to say, looking a bit further down the line, the end of sort of July, things will start to pick up for you nicely. Okay, take the love, and I'll say thank you very much. Take care for now. Um, right. Cheryl Smith is watching. Hello, Cheryl Smith. Cheryl Smith, Cheryl Smith. I'm seeing a lovely pink colour round about you. I think there may be a baby ahead. Do, 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 do. Um, there we go. There we go. I've said it. Can you take it back? Cannot take it back. Paul Tulbury, is there a new job opportunity for me this year, please? Paul, straight away as I'm connected in, into you here, do you know, I feel where it's like it was all work, 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 and it's like you buried yourself into the ground, and then things have sort of settled and they've calmed a wee bit, but I want to say watch, because see when you had all that work, 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 just going back a few months ago, you're about to go back to that. Okay, because I'm just seeing this big influx of pfft, work pouring itself into you here, okay? So definitely there is a step up coming in here and it's going to be very much more so than it was the last time, all right? So more work most definitely coming in for you. Paul, take care. Cheryl Smith has got a load of wee happy, happy faces. Suzanne Jane Richardson is saying hello. Um, hello. You two people actually have been to my last show in Arbroath. That's a bit strange that the two of you commented right next to each other. Hope to see you tonight in Arbroath at the Cliffburn Hotel. Um, hopefully see you there. What else have we got going on here? Roseanne. Rose, oh dear, how do I pronounce this? Roseanne. Oh, you've disappeared. Roseanne Millworth. Mill, Mill, yeah, Millworth. M-I-L-L-W-R-F-F. Millworth, yeah. Roseanne Millworth. Hi, John. I lost my girl at 21. Anything at all. Is she in heaven? Oh, sweetheart. Let's have a wee look and see. I was drawn straight into you there, okay, as I pulled into your vibration. Do you know something I've got? Are you... Thank you. I don't feel that this person, I want to say it's your daughter I've got coming in here, sweetheart, okay? And I don't feel she's terribly long in the spirit world. I want to say November and November of last year, okay? Because um, I'm just feeling I'm just not that long in the spirit world at all here. I feel as I'm connecting in with her, sweetheart. Do you know something? This to me feels like... I want to say my passing was to do, I didn't want to say an accident as in a car accident, but an accident, okay? It's like... I don't how do I, I will, it's like I've been given medication it didn't agree with me and then whatever was going wrong got worse and the combination of both is what took her over to the spirit world I hope that makes sense to you sweetheart okay um because I'm there's definitely something to do with medication not working conflicting attacking the body here all right I do feel she would have passed in hospital conditions now it's just coming in here sweetheart I do feel where I'm, I'm wanting to place her at about 
I want to put her about five foot six as she comes in here, okay? She must have had blonde hair, because I keep seeing blonde hair, okay? As I've got my eyes shut, I can see the blonde hair blowing in front of me here. She's got really nice coloured skin, okay? You know, it's... It's bizarre, uh, but she's got a really nice colour to her skin as she's coming in here. Okay, it's like an Italian sort of colour that's going on. Um, but I could see that, that glow with her skin as she's stepping forward here. I feel a real, you know, a real sort of what you see is what you get. Very minimalistic sort of girl. She's not wearing loads and loads of makeup. She's very much what you see is what you get, Rosanna, okay? Do you know something? Your daughter and yourself are very similar in looks because she's drawn me into, I keep saying, seen her face zooming in and zooming out so I know when they're doing that she's indicating that you look very much like her the two of you are the same as she's coming in here okay um I get the feeling sweetheart from your daughter she must have a baby okay because she's saying you need to acknowledge my bit the child you need to acknowledge the baby and this is not in spirit this is still here so you either you're looking after or the dad's looking after whoever but she's acknowledging being in and around her her daughter Okay, her daughter, I feel. Now, as she's, as she's pulling forward here, she must have been training to be a nurse, sweetheart, okay? Because I'm wanting to start looking after people. I want to start loving people. I want to start fixing people. And I want to get them on the way. But I really very much feel all the studying in and around it as well, okay? So this is how I know she must have just been learning, practicing how to get to that zone, okay? Do you know something? She's very, very much around you at this moment in time. She's never really left your side, sweetheart. I know that, do you know, she never lived with you, but I feel you've never changed the room that she would have slept in since she moved out. And she would have moved out like a few years ago, okay? But it's like a room still the same, sweetheart. Even though she moved out a few years ago, had her own place, had a baby... Um, it's like her bedroom's still the same, sweetheart, all right? She is sending all her love forward to you. I can see her lovely big blue eyes stepping in here as well. Um, so please do take her love, and I'll say thank you very much, Roseanne. Take care for now. <coughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Dear me, that choked me up. Um, right, where are we going? Um, da -da 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 -da. Angela, oh dear, Matheson, M-A-T-H-I-E-S-O-N. Will I get this new job, John? Thanks. Most definitely, most definitely, okay? Um, I feel that there is a new work coming in for you, sweetheart. Do you know something? You've worked for it, um, and I really feel it's time you deserve it, okay? Everything's been a wee bit stuck with you regarding work. You've not been moving anywhere. You've just been left sitting, um, and I really feel that now is your time. This year, to me, feels like your year. <coughs> this feels like it's your year for growing, your year for getting the work that you need by your side and it's like although work's changing it's also going to change your mood it's going to lift you up it's going to make things better for you okay i could see that confidence and that fire getting real lit back in your belly sweetheart so yes i do feel um that that new opportunity is there and it will be presented to you okay thank you very much Right, kids, what time is it? Right, right, right. John is going to have to disappear um, because John's still got a few bits and bobs he has to do. Why am I talking about myself on third party here? All right. Um, John, as in me, as in me talking, has to get off of this um, camera. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into the... Have I got that? Yeah, I do. I'll log into the text service and the instant messaging service where I'll be answering as many of your questions as I can over the next wee bit. Um, obviously, I'm only going to be there for about... Probably about 45 minutes to an hour. Okay, so get them all in as fast as you can. Because... Then I'll need to get my wee ass into the shower and I'll need to get myself looking all pretty and smelling fresh for tonight's show. I really do hope to see some of you there tonight. Remember, you can get your tickets in advance or you can get them on the door. It's our broth at the Cliffburn Hotel. Doors open at 7 o'clock. We start at half past 7 and it is £10 going to charity. Yes, mental health charity called The Wellbeing Garden, who set up a garden for people who can go and sort of relax, chill out, and learn to sort of, I don't know, plant plants? I don't know. 
don't really know. Um, but there you are. Come along anyway. Come along. Please do. Come along. Come along. Come along. Come along. Paul Tilbury, thank you, John. Amazing again. You are so, so very, very welcome. Um, <coughs> oh, dear. Roseanne Mulworth, that is so my daughter. Thank you. I needed that so, so much. You're very, very welcome, Roseanne. Very, very welcome. Um, it was a pleasure to be able to connect with her and yourself. Okay. So, folks, get your text messages in for me. All you got to do is text the word SPRAT, S-P-R-A-T-T, -T, and your question. If you're in the UK, send it to 85358. If you're in Ireland, 57080. Or, if you want, worldwide, this is available worldwide, and it works the same as a text message, instant message, chat readings, um, you just go to my app or go to my website and go to the live chat section, um, pick a reader, me, because I'll be logged in, or if you don't want me and you want somebody else, pick somebody else, that's all right, and type your wee question, and I will type a wee answer back to you, all right, or one of my team will type a wee answer back to you. Nice and simple. It's cheaper, it's faster, and it's just simply amazing. All right? You can still get that offer of 12 credits for only £10. One credit equals one reply, and you don't have to use all your replies at once. Hey, hey. So you just use it when you like. Simples. Anywho, folks, come and get me there. But more importantly, I want to see you tonight. So come along tonight if you can. Um, and if you can, eh, well... That's just bad. That's bad news. Okay. Only joking. Get yourself a lift. Get a train. We've got a train station in our broth, so you can get a train here. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Even if you're in Chicago, it doesn't matter. Get a flight. Do you know how long it takes to get from Chicago to Arbroath? But give it a bash. All right. Um, folks, take care of yourselves. Be good. Um, and there you go. Have fun. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.